Maximum area of a window. A window is in the shape of a rectangle surmounted by a semicircle as shown in the figure. If the perimeter of the window is 10 meters, what is its maximum area? So, so this is our window, rectangular portion. On the top we have a semicircle. Now the perimeter is given to us which is 10 meters. And we need to find the maximum area of this window. So let's start with finding maximum area and then figure out what all is required to find maximum area. So area is area of this rectangle which is 2r times x times this is a semicircle so we'll add that area which is plus half of pi r square half of pi r square. Now we already given the dimensions here. So what we did was we took width as twice radius. We defined a variable r as the radius of the semicircle. So the width of this rectangle becomes 2r and the height we have taken as x. Right? So the area of this rectangle is x times 2r. And here we have semicircle. So semicircle is pi r square. Half of it will be half pi r square. So that is the area which we have. Now when you look at this expression for area, you find two variables. One is radius r and the other one is x. Now whenever there are two variables involved, we have to look for an equation which relates these two variables. Now in our case, the statement if the perimeter of the window is 10 meter relates them. So the perimeter is 10 meters. So in this case, after all, what is perimeter? Perimeter is sum of all these sides and this is half the circle, so it will be pi r, half of 2 pi r. Therefore, we can write perimeter p is equal to x plus 2r plus x, that is 2x plus 2r plus pi r. So that is the perimeter. And from this perimeter, we get a relation which will relate x with r. Correct? So what we will do here is we will write down what is x in terms of r in this equation. Correct? So, perimeter is given to us as 10. So, we will say 10 equals to r is common here. We will say 2x. And what we can do here is we can write, okay, at present we will write this as 2r plus pi r itself. So, x is equals to, we will bring all these terms on this side. So, we get 10 minus 2r minus pi r divided by 2. So that is the value of x. Now we can substitute this value of x here and get one expression for area. Right? I am not simplifying it because I have 2 there. That 2 will cancel out. That is why I am not doing it. Right? So let's number our equations. We started this is our primary equation and this is number 2 equation which relates x with r. Correct? So now we'll substitute 2 in 1 to get our equation. So area is now equals to 2 times r times all this, which is 10 minus 2r minus pi r over 2, right? Plus half pi r square. Now here 2 and 2 cancel out and we get one equation which can be simplified. And this equation, as you can see, is in terms of r. So, we can write area as a function of r equals to, let me take this on the right side and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so we can have area as equals to, let me multiply all these numbers with r. So, we got area as a function of radius equals to 10r minus 2r square minus pi r square and here we have half pi r square pi r square correct now now half pi r square minus pi r square is minus half pi r square 10 r minus 2 r square minus half pi r square so that is area so derivative of area with respect to radius r can be written as a dash r equals to 10 
and this gives me minus 4r and here we get 2 times pi r so 2 and 2 cancel so we get minus pi r correct so that is the expression for area now to find the critical number a dash r should be equal to 0 and that means we can find the value of r from here we could write this as 10 minus let me factor out r and I get 4 plus pi in the brackets so for the critical number r is equals to 10 divided by 4 plus pi so that is the radius which will give us the maximum area right what we need to find is what is indeed the maximum area that is what we need to find now so this is a critical number at this stage we should actually prove that this critical number indeed results into maximum right and once we prove that then we should actually substitute and find the maximum area right now if you look at this expression which we can factor and write in this form 10 minus r 4 plus pi now if r is 10 over 4 plus pi then this equation is 0 but if I take a value of r let's say this is a critical number right if I take a value of r which is more than this in that case this negative quantity will be higher and I will get negative rate of change but if I take a value which is less than this then 10 will be higher and I get a positive rate of change a dash r so we're trying to analyze a dash r here so we see that before this point it is increasing and after that it is decreasing and therefore from this rate of change of area with respect to radius we figure out that this is indeed the maximum area this window can have so the window has maximum area for r equals to 10 over 4 pi and now to find what is that area we can plug in this value in our expression for area which is simplified form which one should I use this one is good enough so we'll use this equation equated there and calculate what r is right so we have our answer here which is area ar equals to so we'll use this equation 10 times r which is so you can just plug it in 10 times 10 is 100 so we'll get 100 over 4 plus pi minus 2 times r square so we'll write 2 times or we can take r square common so r square is 100 over 4 plus pi square and within brackets we'll get 2 plus half pi okay I'll leave it here so I like you to really find solve it simplify it and write down in proper way okay so that should be that should be enough now so you understand the strategy here the strategy is write down the expression for the area of this window and then we have two variables involved which is the radius of the semicircle on the top and the dimensions of the rectangle relate them get equation in one variable differentiate and from first derivative prove that given value of r is a maximum indeed and then write down your answer so these are the steps involved to solve such questions i hope you understand thank you and all the best